So for quite some time now, whenever I've been putting together a setup for vlogging, I've always kept reversibility of the microphone in mind. Because vlogging is not just filming yourself. It's actually going back and forth between this and that. As often as you please. So having a mic that's reversible, allowing you to narrate scenes from behind the camera while maintaining high quality audio makes total sense. But what if you didn't even want to put in time to reverse the mic? So Brian Rodriguez, thanks for sparking the idea to this video. This is how I would put two mics on the Canon EOS M6. Now there's two integral parts to this setup. Number one is this CamFi L bracket. There's different kinds of L brackets all over the place, but this one I found to work perfect with this setup. Second integral part is this Ceremonic SRM3 shotgun microphone, because it allows you to hook up another microphone, and it starts with this quarter inch male to quarter inch male screw adapter. Screws right in here. Then we're gonna use a mini ball head like this, but without this part, so take it off. Ball head screws onto the screw adapter. Then we're gonna need a cold shoe adapter like this. Screw it onto to the end of the mini ball head and screw it in completely. Next part is a cable tie like this one. So make sure this is exactly how the cold shoe mount sits and place the cable tie in the cold shoe mount like so. And this is approximately what it should look like. Next we need a 3.5 millimeter female to 3.5 millimeter male adapter cable. Now there's different kinds of adapter cables with different circumferences of the end part. If you're using this exact one you're gonna have to apply a couple of layers of tape to make it a snug fit with the cable tie. Once you've done that simply place it in here like this and tighten it so it's locked in place. Now the mic we're going to be using is this tiny little Etiteach ETM008 mini directional microphone. It's super tiny but it'll still give you great directional quality audio. This just plugs in here. Now let's install the second mic, the Saramonic SRM3. Now this time the MO is a little different, we're still using two mini ball heads, but we start by applying them to each other, applying both of them to the mic. Don't make this like a 90 degree angle, go like at a 70 degree angle. And then use the quarter inch screw mount that comes with the L bracket and place the ball head right on top of this one. Now use this ball head to finalize the position of the mic. And this is pretty much what it should look like. There should be enough space between the L bracket and the mic, so number one, the shock mount still works and number two, it doesn't bump into the L bracket. And now simply connect the Etiuteach ETM008 to the Ceremonic. Now there's one problem with the mic check of the SRM3. It's really not a snug fit with the camera. So that would be a problem, except we're using this awesome setup where it isn't. Because with this setup, you can simply slide the M6 up to the vertical part of the L bracket and make absolutely sure that this never comes undone. The other cool thing is, if you do need to change the battery or the SD card, you can just slide it to the right and simply access both batteries and SD card. Once you're done, plug in the cable, slide the camera all the way to the left, lock it in place, and again, you're good to go. Now when it comes to wind protection, for the Etiuteach ETM008, we can use Etiuteach's little micro foam wind muff and their proprietary dead cat. On top of that, you could secure this little part right down here with the adapter cable. So it's a really secure deal. Now the Saramonic SRM3 comes with a little foam wind muff, but if you want really good wind protection, you're gonna have to use a dead cat like this. Fortunately, the mic cover dead cat that's originally intended for use with the Rode Video Mic Pro fits the SRM3 perfectly. And if you wanna turn it on, Peel this back a little, and then you can reach the switch and the gain setting. So this is my EOS M6 dual mic vlogging setup. Now when it comes to leveling, since it's two mics involved now, leveling them manually is not a good option. Because more likely than not, distances between yourself and the camera vary from when you're in front of the camera compared to when you're narrating something from behind it. More likely than not, you will be much closer to the camera, hence the mic, when you're narrating from behind it. That's why for this kind of setup, what I've found to work best is to use auto levels and have the attenuator turned on. This way the camera will automatically adjust for the difference in distance and level the sound correctly. And adding to this the built-in low-cut filter of the SRM3 gave me the best results. Now I'm gonna have to do this a little bit twice, once with the SRM3 and once with the SRM3 coupled with the ETM008 to give you a good idea of how much of a difference it makes. This is Stuttgart City Main Street, so as soon as you're off the highway entering the city, this is where you'll end up. It's three lanes, both directions, so there's a lot of sounds coming from in front of the camera as well as from behind the camera. Right now the SRM3 is doing a pretty good job in focusing in on my voice and to some degree only of course, excluding surround sounds. But this will change dramatically as soon as I step behind the camera and start narrating a scene from there. So now I'm behind the camera because let's say I want to show you something that I I think might be of interest to you, tell you something about it, but without myself blocking your view. Now this is part of the construction site for the new Suka City main station. This is the tower they left at the old main station for sentimental reasons, and right here in the middle that's the planetarium. Everything you see around that is part 
of the construction site. And as you've noticed by now, my voice sounds a lot worse than before. Because I'm now in a very unfavorable position when it comes to voice recording. Although I'm using a directional mic, which usually is the very best choice for that kind of recording, as soon as that directional mic is pointed away from me, it very quickly turns into kind of an almost worst case scenario for voice recording. That's why now I'm going to put on the dual mic setup to show you how much of an improvement that is. Now this is what you're getting from the SRM3 coupled with the ETM008. It's not what you would get from one single 360 degree surround sound mic, it's kind of a hybrid between that and directional quality audio. Definitely the sounds the ETM008 picks up from behind the camera add to the overall ambience, but because of the directional nature of the SRM3, my voice still manages to hover over all of that. So it's kind of a good compromise between the one and the other. But now let's check out what happens if I step behind the camera and start narrating again. So once again, I'm behind the camera and for argument's sake, again, let's say I'm narrating something. As you're noticing already, my voice sounds a lot better because now I got the little ETM008 to record it when I'm behind the camera. So all that happens when you turn the camera around is basically that the functions of the mics are reversed. It's now the SRM3 adding to the overall ambience, which for vlogging is very convenient because now you can basically point the camera anywhere and still know that you're getting at least decent quality directional audio. So if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, should you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description. There might be some product links that are interesting for you. In any case, as always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.